Hi everybody, it's Hebby Dobby. I'm just checking in because I want to, but I'm not feeling very good. I've stayed home today from I'm work. I'm drinking my Smooth Move and your Chocolate Yerba Mate kit together is pretty good. Um, but anyway, not feeling so good, but I am committed to continue this vlogging thing. <sighs> anyway, I hope everybody's doing really, really good. I'm on P3. I have lost um, some pounds that I had gained originally. I just have been out of control, not eating wise, just care careless in my eating, but have pulled back the rein some. And right now I stand about four or five, pa five pounds over my LIW. I feel a little bit better about that, but I still need to um, get some more off. I feel like a blowfish as opposed to an angelfish. Um, I, my rings are tight. Um, I wake up every morning just feeling really, really swollen and I need some help. So, um, working on that. <clears throat> So that brings me to the the plan of when am I going to go back on P2? I want to do it like now. Uh, my original plan was to start loading on April 7th, but I don't know if I can wait that long. I keep thinking about loading with the HCG besties, and there's a couple of other people who are loading next week. And then I think, no, don't do that to yourself. You'll regret it because I think I'm going to do a long round next time. I'm not sure. I'm just like all over the map. I really don't know. Speaking of HCG, HCG besties, guess what I sell? Yes, Scentsy. This is one of my favorite wintertime scents. It's called um, Cinnamon Cider. But my favorite scent right now is called Embers. So um, I've been selling Scentsy for about a year and a half. And I went to convention last year in Denver. And this year it's in Dallas. Oh, I'd love to go. But it's just not going to be the case this year. But it, HCG Besties, I hope you go. It is a blast. If you have never gone, I'll tell you privately. It's just amazing. <clears throat> So, what else is new? Um, oh, I'm going to call out one guy that I hope that you guys will um, subscribe to. I'm going to put a list up later, I hope, of people that are new to me at least. But there's a guy named Slim Steve 503 and he is in my neighborhood area, I guess, and I hope to meet him. Uh, but he's just started and... I think he's on like day 17 or something like that. Anyway, he needs a, he needs some support. He's um he's he's doing a great job and um but I think I think he needs some more subscribers. So I'm hoping you guys will will um connect with him, would you? Please. Uh, I wanted to make a comment about almond milk. Uh those of you who are using almond milk, the unsweetened. Oh, I was going to show you a carton. Um, if you guys go out and buy the almond milk, like the vanilla or something, at the very, very top, make sure it says unsweetened. But what I was going to tell you is I keep a stash of, of um, ingredients for a protein shake just in case I run into to needing to, to take a protein shake on P3. And so I poured a one cup container, glass container of almond milk and put it in my refrigerator at work. You guys shake that milk before you use it. No kidding, in one day there is such a settling of the almond milk that the bottom of it looks like a, like you could reach in and pick it up and you have a gelatinous chunk of um, almond milk. And then it totally separates. And then all you do is you just take it and shake it and it mixes right back up. So if you're using almond milk, Make sure you shake it. Really, really important. Um, I was just—I made a comment already. Kit said that uh, you don't feel as svelte on P3. I agree. Like I said, I feel like a blowfish instead of an angelfish. Um, 
Sourpuss Candy, would you please share that recipe for the hummus that you make with the um, soaked sesame, not soaked sesame, soaked sunflower seeds? I have sunflower seed butter that I get at Trader Joe's, but I can't imagine that turning into a hummus. And I know more to see, Char, you have a law of log favorite, I think, for a, a hummus that is raw food and doesn't use garbanzo beans but uses um, zucchini or something that you said is dynamite. I really like hummus, but I feel guilty every time I eat it. And I don't think I should be eating it, actually. Um, what else? Oh, there's so much. I just, I want to show you my, my um, cash. This precious, satiny, warm, wonderful box contains what? Mm -hmm. My HCG. You guys, I feel so secure with my stash of HCG. Here I have my biostatic water, my HCG, my B12, and my mixing thingy majiggers and my bio thingy majiggers and all that stuff. And um, I'm good to go. I think I have enough HCG here to get down to 100 pounds or something like that. Anyway, this is my, my cash that I keep stashed. Anyway, um, <clears throat> I know that, um, who was it, Tasting Thin uh, did a vlog today, What the one of the two saying that it's not going to be easy, if it is going to be easy at all to get HHCG. So I'm worried about you guys who are on HHCG and the pellets. Lori, you guys, um, I hope that that doesn't become a problem. Uh, I'd hate to see that HCG got to be s to the point of us not being able to get it because the FDA decided to take it away. So let's hope that doesn't happen and um, we may have to be supplying each other with HCG to get get down to where we need to be. Anyway, it's already been eight minutes. I'm going to stop now and um, go back to drinking some more tea and uh, watching some vlogs of yours. Anyway, I love you guys so much. You will never know how much you have blessed me. I have received so many emails and letters and gifts and words of encouragement like you would not believe that I'm going to take all those and um, all those words of encouragement and print them up and I'm going to do a rebinding of my journal and put those comments in permanently in my journal to remember um, what you guys have done for me. Peekaboo. I love you. And I appreciate you. And if there's anything I can do, you know I'm here for you. Um, I'll be around for a while. I still have 130 pounds to go. So, anyway, love you. Take care and um, happy releases. And stabilize, stabilize, stabilize. Bye.